First let me hop out the motherfucking Porsche I don't wanna if that ass don't sit like a horse I be ballin' on the What up gamers, it's your boy Fat Dollars bringing you some more Madden 18 Ultimate Team gameplay with some tips in it but in this gameplay I'm going to show you just how real the equalizer is, how EA keeps opponents in the game when they have no reason to even be scoring points or in the game period so if you're new to this channel I'm gonna bring more highlights like this because I got a lot of gameplay where it's a lot of fluky stuff and this is the reason why Madden is not a top game why it's not a lot of NFL players playing Madden on a regular basis because it's nothing like what you see on Sundays we play the game because of the competitive part of the game we like a chess match and you're gonna see in this gameplay perfect season on the line third game of the day that's one of the biggest things is when you play two to three different games they start to rank your skill level and then when you play somebody else who is not as good they equal everything out no matter the players no matter your skill everything was equaled out so you can see my opponent he's running the cheesy split close we stop him finally he gets a field goal so he's up three to zero so we out on our offense and you're gonna see a lot of crazy stuff on this we come out with the run just to get a feel for what kind of defense he is running what kind of defense he likes to run and in this gameplay he mixed it up between cover four and cover six I got cover three beaters cover two beaters and cover six beaters but you can see me playmaker in down the field right there and his linebacker just stayed with him just enough to be able to tip the ball now I thought I had threw it right over the top of his head he backpedaled and then jumped up with one hand and knocked it down so that's kind of a good play but Michael Vick should have been able to get that in there so we right back on defense right now and that was my fault because everybody knows the three routes on the split close so it's up to me to make adjustments we down 10 to 0 early and this is when the fluky stuff is going to start coming into play two minute warning is getting ready to come up we hand it off with a draw to LT down to the two minute warning so second and eight right now down 10 to 0 I'm not worried I'm coming out in the cover six beater right here either cover four or cover six I know that something underneath is gonna be open so I low paw pass it right there for a catch down to the 13 yard line third and eight right now we try to do a high ball pass and his guy jumps the high ball pass now defenders 98 percent of the time do not play the low ball passes and does not play the high ball passes so here we is right here EA know they've been giving him a couple freebies so they give us the ball right back and that is a crazy animation interception animation by night train laying right there so it's a minute left in the second quarter get ready to go into the half I'm coming out I'm dotting up the cover three real easy right there possession catch stays in bounds get another two to three yards after the catch right here 27 seconds to go third and 18 I try to throw it over the top perfect pass and they say I dropped the ball so I'm shaking my head I'm like come on man these people are gonna make it real hard on me so he's playing man coverage I motion my guy in I know that he He's going to cross man somebody he's just not trying to give up the big play we stay in the pocket low ball it to my boy right there and they say that he dropped the ball again that should have been an easy three points I would have kicked the field goal after that so it's the second half second and five I can't give up so right now I'm just doing deep routes and a hitch I'm a playmaker my way down the field because I know he's playing max coverage he got eight nine people in coverage he's just trying to let the clock milk he's gonna try to get the ball back and run it as much as possible so we gonna come out with the pitches we're gonna come out with the stretches and he should have got in the end zone I pushed the dive button and he ended up getting on the one yard line and then I QB sneaked it in so now it's second and 13 we start putting pressure on him we start changing our line right at the height you know I showed you on the last video if you change your line assignment right before the hike the pressure will get there better but then EA comes right back on the third and 14 and lets him jump up over three defenders and still hang on to it and you know my adjustments is tackle aggressive and everything first and ten the clock is milking 
third quarter, one minute and 12, one minute and 11, one minute and nine. So I'm just all out blitzing. I know that he's going to try to run the ball. He knows he is lucky. Third and one. This is a big third and one. He has two receivers to the left side. I know that the run is coming. I manned up the running back on that right side. No, the tight end. That's how you can stop any outside run is to put man coverage on one. So it's over. I'm getting ready to take the top off. So I'm coming into a cover three beater. He has one deep safety. Everybody else is in the box. Mistake by him. I motion my guy over to get one on one. And look at B. All we need is a good pass. And we get the connection for the tutty tutty. And we are up for the first time in the game. Now, we got to keep EA out of the game as much as possible. I can't give his quarterback no time to make any kind of completions. So we send the pressure to him. Like I said, move your line at the very last moment right before the snap. And if you get it perfect timing, you can get blitzes all the time just like that. So now it's time to get sticky one time for the one time. It's time to get sticky one time for the one time. Brian Dawkins following the block shit, using that speed, outrunning this guy down to the 10, down to the 5. One guy to beat, and we make it all the way down to the 7-yard line so you know. We coming right back with a high ball pass. You stopped it one time. Let's see if you can stop it two times. This time out of a different formation. I see A. He's following him. We high ball it for a tutty. Tutty. So now we are up. Feeling comfortable. Now I'm playing bend don't break defense. We got the spy in. I'm watching everything underneath. Following this drag. Following this crossing route. And he lobs the ball up in the air trying to do a beater. And then... He comes down with it again. EA is trying to give him one more chance to stay in the game. And that's number 13. I don't even think that's Odell Beckham. I don't know who that is, but it's bull crap, man. So, he ends up scoring right there, 17 to 21. And I'm just going to keep taking the top off. If you want to play cover sixes, if you want to play cover fours, if you want to play cover twos, I got something for all that. So, you need to know who you're playing against, buddy. So, we throw it over the top right there. And they knock the ball or loose. EA is trying their best to give him the ball back. So here we go. As soon as I see that safety move, I'm counting 5, 10, 12 yards. So you got to know on the cover 6, you got cover 4 on 1. I look to the left. That guy over there is in the cloud. So we can go for the beater one more time. This time I pass lead it up to Julio Jones. And we off to the races. That's a tutty tutty. That's a tutty tutty. That's a tutty tutty. The team is getting hyped. EA has tried to keep this guy in the game all game long. It's up to us to put our foot down on his throat right here. And this time, I put my deep safety in the yellow. He tries to go into that split close cheese again. Brian Dawkins was right there. And once again, he's spinning off of people getting sticky one time for the one time. And he pulls the court. And we are one game from the Super Bowl after all the bull crap we survived. Let's go.